Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechar Kodash. Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten Son. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone in Chicago. And uh, just want to hop into something real quick through the spirit of video I came across earlier today on TikTok. Where these, uh, these Edomites, all right, they know for the most part that this whole abortion um, thing that's going on is really to prevent the so-called uh, white race of people from aborting their babies, all right? So they could uh, bring their numbers back up because they're the one nation on the earth whose numbers are decreasing while brown people, people of color, their numbers are increasing. So I'm going to just play the video, hop into some scriptures. Yeah, how will it instead of fine? <coughs> Already know what I'm going to say. But what a lot of these white women haven't figured out yet is that this is about white babies. 60% of the abortions that were done in this country last year were white women. They know that by 2050, white people will no longer be the majority ruling class in this country. They can't stand it. So they will do whatever it is they need to do to produce mass quantities of white babies. There's still white women that don't know this. They don't know this. See, you know, we all know that the BIPOC women, while well, they've been getting the shitty end of this stick forever, forever, white women got what was theirs and they ran back into the big house and they stayed there. We stayed there. A lot of people don't know why that happened. I do. Because, see, the deal is that these white men will beat other people's asses right out in the goddamn middle of the street. They beat our asses at home. And if they're not physically beating our asses, then they are mentally trying to destroy us and make us weak. So that we won't run away. We won't leave. But... Recently, a whole lot of us have been leaving and saying we're never going back to that. Not never, not ever. So they're scared shitless. They can't keep us. They're going to have to figure out what to do to trap us. To make it where we cannot leave. This is their attempt. They want us broken. They want us broke. And they want us under their foot again. But there's too many of us that have decided to leave and never go back. So there you have it. They don't care what happens to these black women and indigenous women and their children. They don't, they don't care. They haven't ever cared. They don't care how many black and indigenous women die over this. <coughs> and they really don't care how many of us die. Because the ones of us that are running away and staying away, why well, hell, they cannot control us. They know their day's coming to an end unless they can get these rogue white women, like me, back under control. It ain't happening. Not in this lifetime. <coughs> they are trying to save white life. <coughs> she meant it. It just slipped out. She meant it. Mm -mm. We know. All right, that's enough for that. As a matter of fact, I just thought of a scripture. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so you heard her talk about. You heard her talk about. Um, they're really trying to save uh, 
so-called white babies, right? Esau, Esau's women, hey, they're not dealing with with the so-called white man anymore. That's why you see, uh, hey, I just seen the, <laughs> I just seen a picture of Bill Gates. I don't know if it's true or not. Bill Gates, let me let me pull it up. I don't know if this is true or not. Bill Gates, daughter with black man. All right, hey, look, <laughs> they're losing, they're losing their women, they're losing their daughters to to us, to Jake. All right. And you know, uh, Billy Gates is trying to to depopulate us. All right. Um, so Esau, you know, he's uh trying to reverse the numbers. He can't control his women. All right, and this is all part of the scriptures. This is Job twenty seven and fourteen. If, key word, <laughs> if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. So if the Edomites are able to continue to have children, ultimately it is for the sword. All right. Because they have to pay back double for what they did to the children of Israel. All right. I noticed one Edomite uh, at one of my gigs where um, I forgot how the conversation came up, but we were talking about how many kids we have. And he's like, oh, I just I just have a stepdaughter. I'm like, you don't have any kids of your own. And he's like, no. Nah. And I was like, how long you been with your wife? You know, um, how long you been with your wife? Um, you don't want any kids of your own. And he's like, yeah, we've been together for like five years, six years. He's like, he's like, but we just we can't get pregnant. You know, he, he was telling me how, you know, he. Um, um, lack of a better term, <laughs> he busts in here all the time. But she never gets pregnant by him. <laughs> hey, that's cause hey the 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 Edomite male has has weak seminal fluid. All right. Hey, we fuck around and leak a little bit in our women and it's a wrap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they're they're pregnant as soon as we look at them. But Esau's having a, a a hard time getting his women pregnant. All right. Um, but if, you know, they do have children, it's ultimately for, for the sword. Okay. Cause they got to pay back double for what they did to us. All right. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. It reads, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right, so um, it says to prepare slaughter for them. All right, this is speaking about Esau, Edom. For the iniquity of their fathers is ultimately what? They come back as their forefathers. Everybody comes back reincarnation. So they have to pay for the sins they did in their past. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. Hey, that's all coming to an end. 22. For I will rise up against them, saith the howl of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the howl. So this isn't talking about ancient Babylon. All right, because when did when did Yahweh cut off the, the son and the nephew, meaning the males? All right, when you cut the males off, all right, when you get rid of the males, 
then you get rid of the nation. All right. When did when did Yahweh cut the nation off of Esau Edom? All right. As a matter of fact, let me pull this up. Because all nations are still here. All right. Because this is talking about a future prophecy. Where is that at? Um. <clears throat> All right, this is Ecclesiastes 4 and 16. There is no end of all the people. That's the point. There is no end of all the people. So all the nations are here. But again, this is a future prophecy. So when did God cut off <laughs> the son and nephew? The remnant. Okay, that's going to happen in the future. So they what? So they don't produce any seed, any children. All right. And continue to do their wickedness. And as a matter of fact, you know, they're they're the this uh, the Edomite so-called white race of people, which they're really red. Hey, they're dying off. She said by 20, what, 30, they're going to be the major, uh, the minority, which they already are the minority. There's more Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We outnumber them. All right. Because we're a Nate. So-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are one nation, the nation of Israel. So we already outnumber them. All right. We outnumber all nations. He told Abraham, uh, Moses. You know, we're going to be like the sand of the sea, the stars of heaven, the dust of the ground, etc. So we we outnumber all of them. All right. So, um, hey, we're almost at the end because if they die off, guess what? We ain't going to have no Edomite slaves. And the Bible says to um, put them in captivity. All right. So the Lord will have to come soon. If not, we ain't going to have no even my slaves in the kingdom. All right, they're going to die off before we could put them to their thousand year work. All right, let me see. Yep, that was it on that. Let me, and then let me bring this last one out because she was, you know, these Edomite women are not going to mourn for these men, for their, for their, the men of their nation. Job 27 and 15. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death and his widows shall not weep. All right. His women, they're not going to cry over them. All right. They're not going to weep over them. Hey, just like. um, um, Look at our women. Hey, who's in power right now? Esau, Edom. And what do our women do? They run to the people who are in power. That's what women do in general. They flock to those who are in power. If you got the power, if you got the wealth, if you got the riches, guess what? They will not care about you. And they're going to flock to the ones who are in power. It's going to be the same thing when we get put in rulership. They're not going to care that they're their uh, men are are getting jacked up and at the bottom they're not going to weep for them all right even though hey shit on my plantation you know how willing i'll be one of those men of the lord hey all you eating when it's going to the field i don't care how pretty you look how nice your body looks at look you're going to go and <laughs> do some damn slave work out in the field you got to pay double you don't get no pass on my plantation just because of the way you look all right but um hey just like um when esau's in power right now and our women you know look up to him and they could care less about us being at the bottom. It's going to be the same thing with his women. All right. For the most part, his women don't. Esau, Edom's women don't even want him. All right. Because guess what? His his he's being made bare. Everybody see his, his track record. He's the damn devil. The Bible speaks of he's the wicked. 
And and the women look at the man as of look, see, this is what you guys did. You got you made us look bad. Ugh. You know? <laughs> so they're not gonna care. Alright, so how will it now was edifying to next time? Shalom.